I have been using autofocus because I'm so far away from the camera, so I apologize if you can hear the autofocus zooming in and out throughout the video. Working on it. sharing with you five things that are on my summer rack. I was going to call this five trends on my summer rack, but they aren't necessarily trends. They're more like summer essentials. You know that they're going to be in style every single summer. These are things that you want to wear if you are tired of looking kind of bummy because it's too hot to wear clothes. So if you want to look cool, comfortable, and fashionable at the same time, then keep on watching. So the first trend I have here are denim shorts paired with a t-shirt. And when I say t-shirt, I don't mean a graphic tee, even though that's what I'm wearing right now. But I mean for like a summer day out, if you want to look casual but put together. Instead of going for a graphic tee, I would opt for a solid printed, a solid or printed shirt. So, first summer essential is denim shorts and a printed or patterned or solid t-shirt. All right, second on the list is a day dress. You cannot go wrong wearing a day dress. It is so comfortable. It is literally like the sweatpants of summer. For me, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of tight clothes, top to bottom, in the summertime because it's just honestly too hot. I don't want fabric sticking to me all the time. So I always opt for these like fit and flare dresses. They have a fit at the top where your waist is, which I think is really flattering and it's comfortable. It doesn't get too hot. And then the bottom half is nice and flowy and loose. So it gives you like an effortless summer vibe as opposed to, oh, I'm going out tonight kind of vibe. The goal is to be casual and effortless. So find a dress that fits your style. So the third item that I have for the style essential uh, is a jumpsuit. And this one I purchased from Urban Outfitters a while back. I actually featured it in my spring trends haul. This one is styled on VincyFashion.com, so definitely check that out. But the reason why I'm recommending a jumpsuit over a romper is because some people don't like to show their legs during the summertime. It's totally understandable. Everybody has their problem area or the area that they prefer to keep covered. So if your legs are an area that you would like to keep covered if possible, a jumpsuit is a must have. Now, if you are into wearing a dress, but you also don't want to show your legs, then you can go for a maxi dress. I think that everybody needs to find a maxi dress that fits them appropriately. All you need is at least one. You don't have to go crazy. I mean, I have a couple just because I really like to wear maxi dresses because you can wear them even when it's really windy outside. But all you really need of all of these style essentials I'm mentioning, you just need one. But yeah, a maxi dress is a must-have if you want to be comfortable and very cute. This is literally the ultimate sweatpant option. So the last and final trend that I'm recommending, or the essential that I'm recommending, is an off-the-shoulder top. This one is really great for people who list arms as their problem area. So if you don't like to showcase your arms, you can still be cute and comfortable and confident in the summertime just by finding an off-the-shoulder top that has a longer sleeve. Um, this one goes up to my elbow, but I do have a couple that are long sleeve holy, and I can confirm that I still remain cool in those tops. I'm not like dying from the heat. I don't feel overly hot or anything like that. I just feel comfortable, and they're really cute and easy to wear. I guess just exposing your shoulders makes the world of a difference in the summertime, but honestly, you have to get at least one top that is off the shoulder. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what trend or essential, if you're not into trends, will you be wearing this summer. And as always, you can find my outfits and style tips and product reviews over on my fashion blog. That is VincyFashion.com. I do post outfits weekly. And until next time, you can also check me out on social media. That's Instagram and Twitter at VintyFashion. So until the next video, I will talk to you later. Bye.